Hello, today we're going to do a demonstration of the period of a pendulum and um, we've been having some technical problems so bear with us. Uh, the formula behind me was determined by Galileo um, about 400 years ago and involves only the length of the pendulum as determining its period which is the time it takes to swing back and forth. So what I'm going to do to start this demonstration I'm going to take a mass off. We're going to lengthen the peri uh, period and lengthen the length itself, which should lengthen the period. And now we're going to swing it back and forth. We're going to vary the pullout angle. We're going to vary the amount of mass that's on here and see if that makes any difference. Here the rider has no mass, it's only five grams. So we're going to start by timing. One, that's one, two, three, four, five. And that comes out to 8.8 .8 seconds. I'll write it down here. Now we're going to put a mass on there and see if that comes out to any more or less. Swing it out about the same distance. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. And that is 8.9. Very close. So additional mass didn't matter. Now we're going to put another mass on and we're going to swing it out and start it. Let's start it again. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. And that comes out to 8.8 .8 again. Right on. So the amount of mass didn't make any difference at all. Let's see if the amount of swing angle makes any difference. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. That's 8.9. 8.9, so we're right about the same all the time without we're changing the mass or the swing angle. Now we're going to, I'll leave one mass on, we're going to do something by shortening the period. We're going to shorten the length actually. Look at that, we've got a short length. The other one was, centi it was 80 centimeters this, I can tell you right now, is 40 centimeters. Actually, is that right? Yes, it's 40, just on the nose. So we're going to see what the time is with a length of 40 centimeters. You can plug in, the first one was 80. The length was 80 centimeters. If you use 80, you have to use 980 for little g. Uh, that's for the smaller metric system, the CGS, centimeter uh, gram second. So you would need to use 980 for little g, and L would be 80 for the first one. Now let's try the 40 for, I'm just making sure, the 40 for the second one. We're going to do that, and we're going to pull this out and see how long it takes. One, two, three, four, five and that came out to 6.8. So we've dropped. Let's try that again, just to make sure. Zero, what, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. And so now we have 6.9 for five periods. If you want the actual period, you have to divide these times that I just gave you by five, because we're timing five back and forth swings. And so that would be your homework if you would like to replay this a little bit and write down the figures for 80 centimeters and for 40. We can uh, see how accurate this equation is and again that will be your homework. Thank you.